You've probably seen the ads that if you take this supplement, you can boost your GLP-1 hormone naturally. And I've definitely noticed a correlation between the number of GLP-1 natural boosting ads that I see and the number of headaches and pain that I feel. And so today we're gonna to dispel the myths around the garbage supplements that are out there and what you can do to actually boost your GLP-1 naturally. And best of all, I'm gonna show you how to do it without you wasting any money on overpriced pills that influencers swear by while secretly taking Ozempic. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can keep getting no BS science-backed content from me. First things first, let's take a little bit of a step back and do a little bit of science as to what exactly is GLP-1. GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide 1, is a hormone that is released from your gut when you eat a meal. And it does all kinds of cool stuff like slow down how quickly food goes from your stomach to your small intestine, it helps your pancreas to produce more insulin to regulate your blood sugar levels, and it works up inside of your brain and decreases your food seeking behaviors and your wanting of food. And that's why the meds that mimic the GLP-1 hormone like Ozempic, Zepbound, and Wagovi are absolute game changers. And as a quick aside, if you're currently living with obesity or overweight and you're taking a medication such as Ozempic, Wagovi, Zepbound, and what have you, and you happen to be one of my Canadian viewers, well then you need to check out Blue Charm. Blue Charm is an app that is rewarding Canadians that are on an anti-obesity medication. You just download their app, complete one of their surveys, and you get $50 e-transferred over to you as a thank you. And best of all, if you use my code LYG4G8, you get an additional $5. That's a total of $55 for about 30 minutes of your time. So not only are you getting paid, but sharing your story also helps to drive meaningful research around obesity care. So if you're eligible, check out Blue Charm, use my code LYG4G8, and start getting rewarded for sharing your journey today. Now that we've covered what exactly is GLP-1, I want to set the record straight. There is no food, no workout, no supplement that is going to boost or increase your natural GLP-1 levels to anywhere near the levels that we see with the GLP-1 medications. Like not even remotely close in comparison to what Wagovi and Zepbound could do. It really is like comparing a fire hose to a leaky faucet. Same water that's coming out, but it's completely different pressure and effect. But that of course doesn't stop the various companies and influencers out there who are trying to take advantage of the Ozempic hype and buzz and trying to give you hope with some product that's not actually going to work. Okay, now that we've got that whole piece of thing sorted, there is no supplement that's going to boost GLP-1 naturally to anywhere near the levels that we see with Wagovi and Zepbound, but we can naturally increase your GLP-1 levels, at least within the human physiological parameters. And so the way we go about doing that is really going back to the boring basics that I always talk about. The first thing you can do is by eating more protein. Protein stimulates the release of GLP-1, and it's in part why we like to encourage people to have more protein is because protein keeps you fuller for longer. Part of that is because it's increasing that GLP-1 hormone level, and that's gonna help to create that feeling of satiety. The second thing you can do, resistance training. That's right, lifting weights can actually stimulate the release of GLP-1, but again, it's only gonna be a gentle bump. Now, the third thing you can look at is just movement in general. Yes, I already talked about resistance training and how it can separately cause an increase in GLP-1, but in reality, any movement of any kind is gonna help you to increase the GLP-1 levels and the increase of your other satiety hormones too. Not only that, more movement is gonna help you to better regulate your insulin and insulin resistance levels. And in fact, the less that you move, the worse that things are gonna get from an appetite regulation piece. The next thing you wanna be doing is making sure you're getting enough sleep. I really think sleep is like one of the most underrated things that people need to do more of. It's very much that I know I need to get more of it, but I often don't, and don't look at me, I'm no, no magical wizard and doing the right thing all the time. But sleep has such a vital important role from the appetite, satiety, hormone regulation piece of things, but it also helps your body to properly regulate and produce GLP-1. It can also better help you to regulate the hormone called ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone or the hormone that pushes you to go out and find food. The next thing I talk about is fiber. Soluble fiber, the stuff that's found in oats, beans, and such like that, slows down digestion time, so it keeps food in contact with your intestines and with your GI tract for a longer period of time. The longer that food is sitting there and hanging out with the fiber and such like that, the more that the 
L cells, the cells that produce GLP-1, are gonna get triggered to produce even more GLP-1. So that's the five basic things that you can do to naturally increase your GLP-1 levels. However, it is in no way, form, or fashion going to match what we can achieve with Wagovi and ZepBound. Trying to boost your GLP-1 levels naturally in comparison to say what Wagovi and ZepBound can do is kind of like putting a Band-Aid on a broken leg and expecting yourself to be able to run a marathon. It just ain't gonna happen. And hey, are you tired of the frustration and confusion around weight loss? Do you want real science-based strategies that actually work? If so, then you should check out my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. It is gonna be your go-to resource for expert insights, live check-ins with myself, as well staying up to date on all the latest and greatest when it comes to the obesity medications such as ZepBound, Wagovi, and the new ones that are coming to market in the near future. And best of all, you get to join a supportive community of individuals that get it and are gonna help you along your weight management journey with no judgment, just real talk, and expert-backed guidance. So if you're ready to start transforming your health today, then you best check out the links down below, sign up for Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub, and the best part is your first seven days are completely free. So check it out, sign up, and I can't wait to see you there. Now, some of you might be asking the question, well, if all of these natural things to increase your GLP-1 levels can't get anywhere near what we can achieve with the medications such as Wagovi and so on, What's even the point? Why should I even bother in engaging in those activities? Why shouldn't I just try to be on the medication and just focus solely on that? And well, I hate to break it to you, it's because those things, those boring basics, they matter. The boring basics are the foundation to living your happiest and healthiest life. Because you see, weight loss is great, but if your health isn't getting better in the process, then what's the point? And best of all, if you're currently on a GLP-1 medication, engaging and doing all of those things is gonna help to make that GLP-1 medication work even better. So without a doubt, the GLP-1 medications are a game changer. They are definitely something that are helping a ton of people in managing their weight. But the boring basics and trying to increase your GLP-1 naturally with those boring basics are still key things that you need to do to improve your health. Because health is all that we got and it's going to be much, much greater than weighing just a little bit less. Now, to kind of wrap things up here, if you're looking for some kind of shortcut or easy way to get through it, it doesn't exist. All you're gonna do is waste money, time, and energy in trying to find some kind of supplement or hack and hoping for the best, when in reality, you just need to go back to the boring basics. And those are sleeping well, lifting weights, eating protein, eating fiber, and doing all the good things that are gonna help you to be your healthiest and happiest self. And again, no, these things are not going to replace the medications, but they are going to make you healthier, which at the end of the day is all that really matters. All right, now I want to hear from you. What is the worst GLP-1 natural increasing tip or what have you that you have seen online? Drop it down below in the comments and let's have a little chat about it. Okay, my friends, that is it and that is all on boosting GLP-1 naturally. Again, focus on the boring basics and if you're on the medications, keep on with them, but make sure you're incorporating those boring basics too. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep getting no BS science-based content from me, myself, and I because I know you love it. And if you want more support on your health journey and want to stay up to date on all the newest and greatest insights, then you should definitely check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. Links and everything that you need are down below. Of course, also check me out on my other channels at the official Dr. Dan. And as I always sign off, please remember it is the small tweaks that lead to the massive peaks.